18 Historical and Beautiful Philippine Landmarks There is no shortage of beautiful places in the Philippines, and its many historical sites are among the sites you should not miss on exploring and appreciating. Most of them are only fragments of what they were used to be, but they are undoubtedly windows to the Philippine soul, pre, during, and post-colonization. Aside from breathtaking beaches and awe-inspiring landscapes, here are some of the most notable historical places in the Philippines that are definitely a must-visit. Magellan's Cross The Magellan Cross history traces its roots back to 1521 when the Portuguese explorer, Ferdinand Magellan set his foot in Cebu. He befriended the locals and the native chief, Roger Humabin. Roger Humabin, his wife and hundreds of his native warriors were baptized, as they agreed to accept Christianity. On April 21, 1521, Magellan planted a cross to signify this important event about the propagation of the Roman Catholic faith in Cebu. While there are some who consider Ferdinand Magellan an antagonist in Philippine history, Magellan's cross in Cebu City serves as a landmark that is considered as one of the most important historical markers in Cebu City. That's because it was established upon Magellan's order to mark his arrival in the country. This also serves as a reminder of the birth of Christianity in the Philippines. Benai Rice Terraces On the island of Luzon, the Benai Rice Terraces are in the Cordilleras area. The fields have been of great importance to the Ifugao since around the first century when they began to build the terraces. The terraces resemble steps which have been carved into the side of the mountains. The steps form part of an elaborate irrigation system, allowing the rice to grow in precisely the right environment. The terraces themselves cover approximately 4,000 square miles of land and make for a spectacular landscape to visit. Tall Lake and Volcano Tall Lake and Volcano is in the province of Patangas. The Tall Volcano is the second most active volcano in the Philippines, after Mayon, and has recorded 34 historical eruptions. Tall Lake is freshwater and was formed from a volcanic eruption between 500,000 and 100,000 years ago. The lake is the third largest lake in the country, and its waters can range from deep blues to greens, making it a spectacular sight to see. As the volcano sits in the middle of the lake, part of the lake covers the Tall Caldera, filling it with water. Rizal Park Manila may greet you with skyscrapers, giant malls, and horrendous traffic, but set aside time to visit Rizal Park. This vast 60-hectare urban park, with manicured gardens and a dancing fountain, is truly one of the most historical places in Manila. More commonly known as Luneta Park, this is where you will find the Rizal Monument, the actual site marking the execution of the Philippines' national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal. Tarsiers This one is not like the others. The Philippine Tarsier is not an island, not a mountain, or a building, it's an animal. The smallest primate in the world rocks a fuzzy baby Yoda. Look, have eyes bigger than its brain, and is one of Earth's most peculiar creatures. Lazing around in the trees during the day, those cute nocturnal predators spend their nights leaping through the jungle, hunting for small prey. They are incredibly sensitive, shy, and nervous and are known to commit suicide if kept in captivity. Since their eyeballs are too big, tarsiers can't move their eyes around. Instead, they move their neck, sometimes at 180 degrees. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River Within the Puerto Princesa Park lies a hidden river, which flows underground and much of the park's landscape sits on a limestone bed. The river runs through the limestone and directly into the sea, making parts of this subterranean river tidal. Due to its location, the river and surrounding parkland are part of a diverse ecosystem which encompasses both the mountains and the sea, giving it some of the most important forestry systems in Asia. Boat tours take tourists through the subterranean river where they can see underground waterfalls and crystalline caves. Late Landing Monument One of the Philippines' many monuments commemorating moments during World War II, Late 
Landing Monument represents a fulfilled promise. In 1942, when Japanese forces occupied the Philippines, General Douglas MacArthur from the U.S. Armed Forces infamously said I shall return, meaning he would return to the country and free the people from Japanese occupation. In 1944, MacArthur landed back on the Philippines by boat and fought to regain control of the country by pushing the Japanese out. The site where he returned is marked by statues of American soldiers and General MacArthur standing in a shallow pool of water. Two commemorative plaques have also been laid retelling the story. Matan Shrine Built in honor of Sable Island's first hero, Datalapulapu, the Mictan Shrine history is one of the most significant moments in the Philippines' past. It was erected in what is known to be the site of the Battle of Mictan, when the native leader defeated explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. While it mainly features a 20-meter bronze statue of Lapu-Lapu, a shrine for Magellan was also built, honoring him for bringing Christianity to the Philippines. Malacanin Palace The official residence of the President of the Philippines, Malacanin Palace is a must-visit landmark in Manila. The palace has been owned by the government for nearly 200 years, during which the buildings have been remodeled and added to numerous times. The palace was originally owned by a Spaniard involved in the galleon trade, who built the palace with a bathhouse on the river in lush gardens. Inside the palace are grand and lavishly decorated rooms, each telling unique stories and encapsulating important moments in the country's history. Corregidor Island Just a few hours away from Manila is Corregidor Island, regarded as one of the Philippines' last military strongholds. During the American occupation, Corregidor was fortified with coastal artillery to defend the entrance of Manila Bay from enemy ships. A day tour in Corregidor consists of visits to sites such as the Battery Way, Battery Hearn, and the Pacific War Memorial which was built in honor of all the Filipino and American soldiers who fought during World War II. Mayon Volcano Mayon Volcano, or Mount Mayon, is in the province of Albay in Baikal region of the island of Luzon. The volcano is famous for its perfect cone top and almost symmetrical shape and is still active, less erupting in 2019. Despite this, people flock to Mayon from all over the world to get a glimpse of this powerful volcano. Mayon is one of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines and is feared by locals for its destructive powers. The last major eruption in 1993 left many dead and homeless in its wake. The volcano stands at 2462 meters high, and its crater consists of a gigantic chamber filled with molten rocks. Basilica del Santo Niño In Sable stands the Basilica del Santo Niño, the oldest basilica in the Philippines. The building was constructed in the 1700s and was built with the intention of being able to survive earthquakes. The facade is simple in its design, taking influences from Muslim, Romanesque and neoclassical architectural styles. Inside, ceilings are decorated with elaborate paintings depicting biblical scenes. It is however the holy relic of Santo Nino that draws people to this beautiful basilica. The relic is a gem festoon statue of the Holy Infant Jesus and was a gift for Queen Juana for her baptism in 1521. It is said that, during a fire that destroyed much of Cebu, and indeed the church itself, the relic remained undamaged. Carle Christ Logo Awarded as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the streets of Carle Christ Logo in Vigan is regarded to be one of the perfect examples of a surviving Spanish colonial town in Asia. Travel back in time as you stroll through Old World Charm, get mesmerized with Spanish colonial architecture, and enjoy delectable food such as the famous Ilocos empanada. While, at it, buy a handicraft made of signature able Iloco weave in one of its many souvenir shops. So head up north, visit Vicon, and find some Cali Christ logo tours to try, as it's one of the most beautiful attractions in the Philippines. Aguinaldo Shrine 
One of the most important historical landmarks in the Philippines is Aguinaldo Shrine. The shrine is in Kite and is where the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain in 1898 was signed. The shrine is actually a house and was built from wood and thatch in 1845. Within the shrine is a dedicated museum containing important artifacts from the first president including car plates, chess pieces and epaulets. The shrine has many secrets housed within its walls. From furniture with hidden compartments to secret tunnels, leading away from the shrine to the church, there is a lot to explore. Fort San Pedro Now partly ruined, Fort San Pedro was built in 1565 upon the orders of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, who conquered the Philippines during the 1500s. The fort served for many years as an army garrison, prison camp and even acted as the city's zoo for a time. What is left of the fort dates to the 18th century and features a decorated arched gateway and small ramparts. Within its walls, a wall garden has been built, allowing locals and tourists a place to escape the hustle and bustle in Cebu. Chocolate Hills the Chocolate Hills in Bohol province number at least 1260 almost symmetrical hills. Their name derives from their appearance following dry spells, where the green grass turns brown. The hills, of which there are believed to be as many as 1776, are spread across an area of roughly 50 square kilometers. The hills vary in height and size, but their rounded dome peaks make them appear from a distance identical. Legend has it that the hills were made following a feud between two giants. The giants threw rocks, boulders and sand at each other, and what was left on the landscape became the chocolate hills. Boracay Boracay was the first big tourist destination in the Philippines. Even though it's only 7 kilometers long and 1 kilometer wide, the tiny island features an impressive 4 kilometers postcard perfect stretch of sand, the legendary white beach. And that's not all, a total of 17 tropical beaches are scattered through the island, making it an exemplar tropical paradise. Borke is continuously featured in best beaches in the world rankings, which resulted in such an enormous influx of tourists that in 2018 the government had to close the island for six months to restore the island to its former glory. The Ruins A testament to the husband's love, the ruins in Talise, Negros Occidental was a mansion originally built by Don Mariano Lexon in honor of his late wife, Maria Braga. Inspired by Italian architecture featuring Machuca Todd floors and neoclassical pillars, the mansion was burned down by Filipino guerrillas during World War II. Its ruins remain a beautiful site and has become a famous tourist spot included in a Bacolod sightseeing tour. Driving towards the landmark takes you through vast sugarcane plantations, which the province of Negros is known for. Several landmarks across the country remain standing with their walls, pillars, and grounds echoing stories of the Philippines' tragic and triumphant past.